Hello, my name is Jim Cruz, and I am known as the Spoon Man. I'm a musical interactive comedian, and I finally came out this past year with my own professional musical spoons. Let me show you what I have. These are how the spoons are sent to me, wrapped up in plastic. And what I do before I send them out to you is I tune the spoons. That's right, I tune them up, which might be the world's first ever musically tuned spoons. So what I do with the spoons when I receive them, and don't be afraid to do this, because they're not going to break, is I stretch them out just like that. I pull them apart. And what I want to do is I want to make sure I can get at least one finger or two fingers in between the two backs of the spoons before I send them out to you. So I'll show you what I do. I put two fingers in between the two spoons. And then I press down. And I flip them around. And I press down again. And what I'm doing is I'm closing that gap between the two backs of the spoons and making sure that I can get at least two fingers in between. And it's also changing the tone of the spoons too. Just like that. I'll take off the plastic so it might be easier for you to see. So the spoon, the gap between the two spoons are fairly close together. Now, when I originally received the spoons, I'll show you what they look like. You see the difference? You can't get one finger in between here. And the contact point between the two spoons is more towards the back end of the spoons, whereas with this, the contact point moves a little bit over to the center of the spoons. So depending on how you want the spoons to sound, I'll show you a pair where I really bowed out the handles. And what I did by doing that is I moved that contact point more towards the center of the spoon. See if you can see that. All right. So these spoons sound a little bit deeper in comparison to these spoons. Hear the difference? So you want to make sure when you get your spoons that the gap is not big in between the two backs of the spoons. If you've got a large gap there, you've got to really hit yourself hard. You don't want to do that. You want the gap to be right around there, right? Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. You don't have to hit yourself nearly as hard. And it's easier to play. So, spoon on, and thank you for considering the first ever musical professional spoons. Have a great day.